Hello friends, welcome back. We are studying routing in ASP.NET Web API. In this video, we are going to see the another type of routing that Web API supports, which is attribute routing. So what is attribute routing? Basically, in attribute routings, we use attributes to define the routes. Okay. Now, uh, in previous video, we saw convention-based routing, right? In convention-based routing, we define all the routes in Web API config file, right? Here, in attribute routing, we make a use of attributes to define the routes. And in C sharp or in overall, you can say in a .NET, attributes are defined in the square bracket above your method or above your class name. So here, our method is nothing but our action method and class is nothing but our controller okay so above your controller and above your action method you define a specific attribute which is nothing but a root attribute to define your root i hope it is clear definitely we are going to see this part practically now the advantage of using attribute routing is that it gives you a more control over uri in web api than convention based routing uh, this is also we are going to see using example so it will be more understandable to you again as i said we can define the routes directly on the action methods and the controller and in web api 2 attribute routing is enabled by default otherwise basically you have to write a code to enable the attribute routing so let us see all these things practically let us switch to visual studio so here I am using the same Web API application that is Web API Basics. Okay. And as you can see here, we have Web API config.cs file. And in last video, or, or as a part of convention based routing, we studied that we have to define the root in this file. So whenever you are going to define your roots in this file, it is nothing but a convention based routing. And this is one of the root. And we know that there should be single root defined in your web api application okay to run your application it is very much necessary so this is where very quite general uh, route you can say you can define the complex routes also so here on line number 15 using map http attribute routes method your attribute routing is enabled and this is by default present here we do not have to write any code for this so with the help of this generally attribute routing is enabled so make sure that this call should appear before all the other routes in your web api config.cs file basically how routing works your routing engine will start matching the routes from the beginning and wherever it found the match there it stops so with the help of attributes routing we generally define the specific routes and the general routes are defined in your web api.config file that is using convention based routing so definitely your specific route should match first right and then after your general routes that's why this call should appear before all the other routes in your web api config file or depending on your requirement you can move this also but basically attribute routing is used for defining the specific routes whereas convention based routing is used to define the more general routes which are applicable for your entire application okay now let us switch to example uh, where we are going to use attribute routing so here i already created one model named as category and it is having two properties category id and name so under this model folder, I created this category model. Similarly, I added respective controller also. Let me hide this. I added category controller. Okay. And under category controller, um, I just add the list of category. And even I created a list of products. And I make one change in our product model so let me show you that 
let us switch to definition here you can see that one extra property is there category id which defines to which category this product belongs okay so that's why i added this extra property and in category controller also you can see that while defining the product i mentioned the category of the product also see means this is first product uh, nothing but a skipping rope having price 349 and it belongs to category 1 and what is the first category first category is fit fitness accessories similarly under the first category there is one more product that is exercise mat having this much price okay and again belongs to first category in the same way under the second category that is electronics this three products are defined headphone laptop and camera so i hope this part is clear okay now here three simple action methods are ruled first one is get action method definitely whenever there will be a get request without any parameter this method will be called which will display the list of all the categories which is nothing but we have this two categories right this two categories get display or it will be return similarly one more version of get is present here which is accepting the id which is nothing but a parameter of our action method what this code will do it will try to find the category matching with this id so here we use simple link operator that is first or default if that particular category is found that category will be written otherwise null value will be written okay now the third method is interesting one which is again uh map to the get request it is accepting the category id okay and what is it doing it is return the list of products where category id matches means if i say get me the products which are belongs to one category it will gives me all these these two products okay if i say give me the products belongs to second category this three products will be written okay so here we are going to use the concept of attribute routing okay so basically if you see here you have both the get methods right this get method this is also a get method this is also a get method and both are very much similar right means whenever let me write one uri say http colon double slash www dot test api dot com slash api slash category slash one means whenever i want to get the category first or i want to know what is the first category my uri pattern will be something like this and definitely this will be a get request this will be a get request right now suppose here i want to know the products under specific category so this one is also a get request so here what should be my uri so http colon double slash www dot test api dot com slash api which is our fixed constant then we have to specify the controller name and then after i have to specify the id okay either in the form of query string or as a root parameter so here also this is what this is a get request right so if you look at both the uris both are what same so whenever i will request for the particular uri there will be a conflict right so for this method and for this method there should be two different uri then only this particular action methods will be executed okay so what we are going to do we are going to write the different route for this 
second method okay and for that we are going to use attribute routing so to define a root template using attribute route as i said we have to use attribute right so first of all let me delete this and we will define the root using root attribute okay so in square bracket you have to specify this root attribute and here in round bracket you have to specify the root template or your root pattern so my pattern should be something like this first of all uh, the name of controller that is category okay then slash category id which is nothing but my parameter here so this is a placeholder and it can take any value and then after again one fix literal products okay so this is going to be my root template means what should be my uri to execute this action method http colon double slash www.testapi.com slash category slash product id slash sorry category id slash products this will be my uri to execute this action method so category id is placeholder which can take any value that's why i enclosed it in curly braces category and products these are literals and it will take a value as it is now if you observe here i can't use api here right means i can't say api okay so what happened here it will mismatch with other roots right so what i have to do either i have to add api here means api slash category slash category id slash products or another option is that if this api word is applicable for each and every roots in this particular controller's action method in that case you can define it as a root prefix and it is applicable at a controller level so here what you can do this attribute will be applied at a controller level root prefix and here i'll say api okay so now my uri will be like this api slash category slash one slash products okay so here the next important question is why did i mention the controller name as a fixed text why didn't i specify controller placeholder definitely we can mention it so let us specify that root and then after we will identify what are the problems with that root okay means instead of uh, fixed text if i go with controller then category id and then slash products okay so this will also work but the only problem with this root template is that whenever we are mentioning controller as placeholder at that time it can take a value of any controller because placeholder can take any value hmm? now assume that this is your category controller which is showing the products category wise suppose we have one more controller say brand controller and there also we want to show the products brand wise in that case if we mention this root right if we mention this root in that case what happened there will be a conflict but if you mention the fixed text here then the first root the previous one that we created initially is restricted to this category controller only means whenever i mention the category text obviously 
my URI will be mapped to this action method. Okay. So whenever you are going to use any specific route, I will suggest you to go for attribute routing. And if you are going to use any general route where you are going to mention the placeholder and it can take any value, in that case, I will suggest you to go with convention based routing. Okay. So basically, in your application or while developing your application, you can use both type of routing. It's not like that if you are following attribute routing, you have to use attribute routing. And or if you are following convention based routing, you have to follow the convention based routing only. So it's not the case. You can mix both the approaches. So wherever there is necessity of generalized route, specify it in web webapiconfig.cs file using convention based routing. And if you think there may be a conflict occur between multiple routes. In that case, go with attribute routing. Now the next step is to test this. Okay. So let me remove this part. Definitely only one root template will work. I'll remove this. So let us run our application. So our controller name is category controller. So let us test our application in Postman. So I'm switching to Postman. Yes. Uh, so we have to make a new request, right? And all our methods are get method. So request will be also get request. So let me copy localhost port number. Again, we'll switch to Postman. Then we have to use this prefix, right? API. Then our controller name is category controller, right? So let us hit the send button. So our get method, let me show you. So the first get method will execute where it returns all the categories right we have two categories fitness accessories and electronics right so here we got that answer now let us try to execute the second get method which is returning a category of specified id so here first id belongs to fitness accessory so it should return this category yeah this is working now our third get request and what is the root template we have to specify category then category id and then after products whereas category and products are fixed words literals right we have to use it as it is so category then i have to specify category id and then after i have to specify products word okay so let us hit the send button. Yeah, this is also working. So basically there are two products under one category. If I say category two and what are the products under it? There are three products. First one is headphone, laptop and camera. So I hope you understood the concept of attribute routing and the scenarios where we can go with attribute routing and as well as to the convention based routing. Definitely there are other concepts also related to routing like routing constraints and some other small small things which you can explore it with yourself or I suggest you as part of my MVC series ASP.NET MVC series I covered all those concepts. So just go through it. I'll attach a link of that videos in the description below and just try to implement it in ASP.NET Web API. So I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any doubts or any concern, you can definitely write it to the comment section. Thank you for watching.